Hey, it's Jeremy Ward of Ward Realty. I just wanted to take a few minutes today and uh, most of you guys probably already know the amazing Lewis Walden. For those that you haven't met Lewis yet, I want to introduce you to a good friend and business colleague of mine, Lewis Walden. Uh, Lewis and I have worked together for the last six years. Um, he, he came aboard the Jeremy Ward team when we was with Remax and uh, just was a strong player in the real estate game and just become stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, he actually led our team sales for probably four of the six years that he's with us and just constantly works on himself and improving his game. I don't know if you've known, but uh, Lewis had an opportunity to set a go. Uh, he said it, what, a couple years ago, Lewis? Yeah, yeah. It's been about and two years said, My family and I want to move to Florida. And then so as a team leader, I was like, okay, awesome. Don't really want to lose Lewis because, you know, he's the man, but on the other hand, anytime you get a chance to see somebody grow and, and accomplish a go and, uh, you know, a whole family go like that, you take the opportunity to get behind that. So we did. And uh, about a week or two ago, Lewis closed on his on his new home. Lewis, tell us a little bit about the journey down to Florida and, and how it is down there. Well, we love it down here. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area here in southwest Florida. Um, we're in the Fort Myers area, and uh, I service uh, Fort Myers, Naples, Bonita Springs, Estero, Captiva, Sanibel, Marco Island, and Cape Coral. Um, they're just gorgeous areas. They're all a little bit different. Um, but uh, we were introduced to Southwest Florida on our honeymoon in 2008. We came down here on uh, Captiva Island and honeymooned at the Twin Waters Inn. It was a beautiful place. Uh, some of the most beautiful sunsets you'll see in the entire world. It's just an absolutely gorgeous place. And uh, we fell in love with it. And we always said, well, gee, we'd really love to live here someday. Um, and then you fast forward and June of 19, we took our vacation down here and looked at each other and said, well, if we're going to do it, let's do it before our kids get older, get their own lives and move away from us. And then we're trying to go back and forth between, uh, you know, Southern Indiana and then Southwest Florida, you know, with our kids and, Let's just create a life down there. That's awesome. So Lewis had been an agent in Indiana. So I guess it's been eight years. Eight yeah. years in Indiana. And then you went ahead and got your real estate license in Florida once you knew that that was your goal. Lewis, tell these guys how many closings you've had in Florida already. Two. Had two, and you've been down there a couple of weeks, something like that. Uh, I know. I've officially been down here since, uh, let's see. Well, I was down here like from Ju July 6th to July 8th, and I flew back home, helped mm -hmm. my brother-in-law with some things, closed a few deals at home, and then uh, came back down on the, drove back down on the 13th. So That's I've been here, you know, I guess, a total of like eight days or so. So Lewis was flying back and forth, taking care of clients that he had in Florida. Uh, and actually, I had the opportunity to look at some places with him, uh, my wife and I. Uh, had been looking kind of in the same general area, didn't really know what we wanted, <clears throat> didn't know the Fort Myer area very well. We had went to Saint, uh, Sarasota, had been to uh, Naples, wasn't real crazy about Naples. And then uh, Lewis started sending me some condos and some beach houses and some houses on canals and stuff that I was curious about. And I think one of the coolest things that Lewis has spent enough time down there, he knows the area real well. I actually got to look at it, at his new home and the new neighborhood. Yeah. And I'll let him tell you about that in a minute. It's just amazing how many houses there are in these neighborhoods compared to what we're used to here, here in Indiana. But I think one of the coolest things Lewis added to our trip was like, he's like, man, you want to know where the best place to grab a beer and see the sunset is in this town? I was like, yeah, let's go. So we went to, what was the name of that place, Lewis? The first place we went to was Doc's Hideaway. Doc's Hideaway. That's on Benita, on Benita Beach. That's mm -hmm. a fantastic spot. I mean, and, and for me, for an afternoon at the beach, I love Doc's Hideaway because you got the beer there, you got the wings, mm -hmm. you have awesome food. And then the, the public beach is just right there with it. And it's honestly, that's probably the nicest public beach I've ever been to. For a public beach, it is fantastic. It was awesome. We sat there underneath an umbrella at a table and ate tacos and uh, feet in the sand and 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 looked, watched the ocean. And then later that night, we went to another place for sunset. Yeah. Um, and what what was the name of that place, Lewis? Lucky Duck. And it's on Cashew. Lucky Duck. That's right. And and there, there you will find the most beautiful sunsets in the world. Yeah. That's where it, it's just absolutely amazing. It, it it really feels like God has taken His hand 
and, and, and bless that part of the world. It is just, the sunsets there are just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I took my wife and kids, and then actually Lewis had, had told us to do that. So, so we said, yeah, let's check it out. So we grabbed the wife and the kids and ended up running into him and some of his family there that same night. So we all got to watch the sunset. And it's just like he said, it's just amazing. It's like the sun drops right there on you. But uh, that was a real cool experience, Lewis. Like I know around here, I mean, we try to show people, you know, the parks and the river and, you know, mm -hmm. some of the stuff to get into. But they actually have a realtor say, let me take you to a spot. Let me show you where another spot is, you know, beyond looking at the homes. Um, so, you know, Lewis has only lived down there, uh, going on a month into his new home, but he's put a lot of time in over the last few years, exploring where he wanted to live and, and what there was to do and the lifestyle that he was trying to create. So with that, Lewis, tell me a little bit more about your neighborhood lifestyle. I found that very interesting. Yeah. So we live in what's called a luxury resort living community. Um, and there's a couple builders in there, um, there's a Lennar and then Fulte. Uh, they're the two builders. And, then, you know, there's tons of these communities all around Southwest Florida. And uh, they're usually uh, built around a clubhouse and a community center where you have a pool. Like our pool has a, a couple waterfalls. It has palm trees all around it. And it's it's enormous. It's not like anything you, you would see like a, at an HLA pool at home. I mean, this is truly, you feel like you're at a resort. There's a water slide. Um, you know, there's... Uh, there's a, a bar right there. And um, then you have a cafe and a restaurant in our subdivision. Um, there's a neighborhood trolley that runs on the weekend. So you go to the go to the bourbon bar at right. the, the neighborhood and then you take the neighborhood trolley home. So um, That's awesome. they're, re they're really making these communities to where they are resorts, where you actually live, feel like you live on a resort. So that's one of the amazing things that's going on in Southwest Florida. And it's, it's absolutely mind boggling how cool they, they've made these places. I mean, they're, they're just one after the other, after the other, after the other. One of the things I learned just a, a few nights ago is Lewis don't have to even cut his own yard. Right. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't you know, you do have a pretty hefty HOA fee, but yeah. HOA fee, um, and I don't mind sharing my, my HOA fee is 321 a month, but I get to use the pool, um, you know, all of my lawn, my landscaping, all that's taken care of. Like, I don't have to do anything. I just basically live in my house. And I feel for 300 after being there and seeing your place and that resort feel that's there, like you're getting your money's worth. But I just want to let everybody know, um, all my past clients, friends, you know, anybody that sees this video, I recommend Lewis to be your realtor. If you're going to Southwest Florida, um, he, he named off several, uh, cities he serves. If, if you need anything from Lewis, you know, feel free to reach out to him, reach out to me. We're, we're still, you know, speaking weekly. Uh, mm -hmm. Lewis and I become good friends through business over the last six years, okay. but uh, I would vouch for Lewis any day of the week. I think that he's going to do great down there. I think he's going to really work hard and serve his clients just like his, like he did here at home. And I think he really enjoys it. You know, it's the lifestyle that he was looking for. He gets into it. Like, He's explored, he's read, he's, he's studied, and he was able to pick a place that, that picked, you know, that, that worked for his family. And mm -hmm. I think he can do the same for you. So Lewis, is there anything that you want to tell them, any contact information or, or anything yeah. they think uh, you think they should know before they reach out to you? Yeah, my brokerage is uh, Premier Plus Realty and uh, down here in Southwest Florida. And my phone number is 239-300-1449. And uh, but I'm looking forward to serving you. If, if you really want a laid back lifestyle to feel like you're on vacation 24-7, um, uh, Southwest Florida is the place to do it. I love it. I'm going to show houses in my Tommy Bahamas and uh, flip flops. And uh, it doesn't matter even if it's a, a million dollar property. I mean, it's uh, everybody wants to feel like they're on vacation here. And that's the perk of living here. Yeah, no, you definitely like I don't when I come to Florida, I'm not packing slacks in a suit. <laughs> I'm wearing my flip flops, my shorts, and I don't care that you do too, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean that that's the uh that's the charm of living here. It's uh people want to feel like they're on vacation. Well, Lewis, I'm super proud of you, man. I've watched you work hard, like super hard over the last six years, seven days a week, and I and I'm glad it's working out for you down there. Uh we're all we all see you doing great things down there as well. 
And again, to all my friends and clients, if you're if you're thinking about moving, if you're going to be down there on vacation, want to check out a few places, I would be more than happy to hook you up with Lewis. It don't cost you anything, and I'm telling you, he'll serve you, and uh, he'll take good care of you. And uh, Lewis, I appreciate your time today. I know it's hard to leave the uh, the resort there and come into the office, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I know you. If there's work to be done, it gets done. So yeah, well, I really appreciate everything that you've done for me too, Jeremy. And uh, glad you know, to do it. We'll make a video about that here soon. But I just I really appreciate you, and uh, you know, you still believing in me and having faith in me, and uh, every the partnership that we've built. Yep. No, man, you earned it, and uh, I'm I'm glad to be in business with you here in Indiana and. We'll uh, we'll see you here soon. And again, if you need uh, real estate in Southwest Florida, or if maybe maybe you're not going to go to Southwest Florida and you just want Lewis's recommendation, maybe some agents he knows that are either further north or further south, east or west, give Lewis a call. He won't he won't lead you wrong, and he'll put you in a good position. And uh, hope everybody has a good day. Thank you, everybody.